Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up filters in PowerScan Pro, or magic filters, as I like to call them, because they do work like magic. All right, here's the main window of the product. Right there in that box are your filters. Every one of those are individual filters which have formulas. Formulas are things like certain price ranges, certain chart indicators, chart patterns, that sort of thing, that it's going to scan for and alert you on which stocks match that criteria. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, a typical trading setup would be something like this. What I'm showing here is two different moving averages. Exponential moving average periods of 15 and 8. Okay, so there's your 15, and there's your 8. Now, this is just an example. There's, there's 100 different ways to do this. I'll give you an example. A classic trading setup would be, in this case, when the 8 crosses the 15, which you're seeing right there. The 8 period moving average goes above the 15. That is a bullish sign, and sure enough, the stock soars. Now, that's all well and good, except how do you detect that? How do you know when this happens? other than manually paging through hundreds and hundreds of charts? The answer is the magic filters. By simply going to settings and going configure filters, we can build one that detects that exact pattern. And I'm going to do that right now in the live product. I go to settings, configure filters, and voila, the PowerScan filter manager. Now I'm going to go new filter. And since we're looking for one period crossing another, I'm going to call this EMA 8 crosses EMA 15. It's fair enough, right? Okay, now all we have at this point is just an empty filter. It's not going to do anything. We have to add formulas. So you, it's really complicated, so you click Add Formula. <laughs> up, up comes a list of many, many possible formula types you got bar, you got you got candlesticks and bars, you got highs and lows. In this case, I'm going to select indicators and crossovers and choose EMA. EMA now gives me a whole bunch of different choices, different step periods, different things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's an eight period EMA. Put in an eight there. And then I'm going to say one another crosses another. So I'm going to say this eight period. I want to look for it crossing a 15 period. So in a couple of clicks, we now have the setup we want. Now, there's one more thing I want to check, and that's where it, here it says crossover only. That's very important because by checking that, we're going to tell it to only report stocks that have just now crossed over. If we don't check that, then it's going to give us any EMA 8 over EMA 15, regardless of when it crossed. It could have crossed two weeks ago, so we don't want that. We want to know the crossover recently. So by checking crossover only, that's what it'll do. So let's go run this thing. By running it, that's also really complex. You click once. That information is sent to our server. It's, it scans the entire database of real-time data, by the way, not a snapshot. And there it is. In the live market, these are the stocks that it would come up with for that pattern. Let's confirm. Okay, you see that one? The EMA is, cro is crossing, but it's just barely. Okay, but it's crossed. Same thing with that. It was below, and then now it's like one tiny bit above. So these are all crossing right now. Now, one of the flaws with this I just noticed is that it's not crossing that much. You see, like this one here, it's just barely, I can see like one pixel crossing on the chart. That's not a strong enough indicator for me as a trader. So let's go modify the filter. Go back to configure filters. Go back to EMA crosses the 15. Okay, now double click on it to get the list of formulas. Now we're going to change this a little bit. We're telling it to look for a crossover in the current bar, or which is today's session. Instead, we're going to change that to previous bar, or in this case of a daily chart, yesterday's session. So we're going to say we want to know that crossover, right? But we want it to have crossed over yesterday. So 
Okay, big deal. It crossed over yesterday. But now let's add a new EMA formula in addition to that. See, we now have another EMA formula. This time, it's EMA 8, and we want the price to be at least 1% above that EMA. See what I just did? I told it, okay, look, tell us about all stocks that crossed over yesterday, and today the price is well above the 8-period EMA. That'll give us a way stronger signal. So in a couple of clicks, I've now modified it. Let's test it. We click on it once. It has to think about it because we did alter the formula, so it has to buffer up all the hits again. It's no big deal. It only takes, you know, 15 seconds. There we go. Let's take a look. See, now that's way more substantial setup. You see that? This thing crossed, but it, it's now it's way above. It not only crossed, it really is flying. So this stock looks really strong. So you see what I did? I've now created a stronger signal to trade on. And I did this in what? Not three minutes? Okay, so this is what I'm calling a magic formula. Now that, that filter is now there forever. If I come here tomorrow, that filter is still going to be there. Now, how do you test this thing? Well, I can't test it now because A, the market's closed, and B, this, the new session hasn't started until tomorrow. I don't want to wait, so let's test it on a back day. This is another super powerful feature of PowerScan Pro. Let's go back to, I don't know, the 21st. I'm just picking September 21st randomly. We're going to test our filter against the market session of the 21st, which was a couple of weeks ago. All right, it's now ready to go. We click start. And believe it or not, it is now playing tick by tick. Though it's the session of the 21st. It's already 9.32 a.m. It's playing it kind of fast. Let's go fast forward so I can illustrate how we would do this. Let's go to around 10 a.m. Well, there we go. And let's click our filter and apply it to that market session. Because now we're in the quote-unquote live market. We can see how, how to trade. Okay, it's thinking about it against the back data. And there it is. I'm going to think out loud, folks. I'm going to walk through the top three or four and tell you which ones I like, if any. That one is nice, except that it's kind of sagging after it crossed over, so I kind of don't like it. That one, same thing. It's kind of sagging after it crossed over. Ah, now that one's a good one because it shows strength, not sagging after the crossover. So let's trade it, right? Go over to the simulator. It's already entered by just clicking on it. Let's go 500 shares, buy. <coughs> Boom, there it is. Now I want to see how I did on that trade. So let's go fast forward, zoom ahead. Okay, it's up 0.2% already, 0.25, 0.3%. We're really flying here, folks. This is cool. 0.4, 0 0.5, point. okay, it's up almost three quarters of a percent. Yeah, it's up almost, it's up two thirds of a percent already and it's only been a couple of hours. That ain't bad. Okay, now if we want to really see how we did. Let's go to the next session, <coughs> 22nd. And once it loads the data, we'll see how we would have done holding it all day long. There it is, 1%. That wonderful stock gained 1% in less than one session. I don't know where I come from. That is pretty good. And we did it with a magic filter created in just minutes. Pretty cool.